Hello people, I am Javi Kawai, joined by Jules Dreyer, and we are looking at the school bag with Rasika Dugal. This is from Royal Stag Bear Select Large Short Films. Thank you Large Short Films for allowing us to react to this. Always appreciate it. Love your short films. It's always profound, interesting, and thought-provoking, and always made really, really, really well. Like, the production value is great on your short films, and I always appreciate it. So, now that I've kissed your butt quite a lot, <laughs> For real. <laughs> no one asked me to do that, by the way. I just really, I genuinely appreciate large short films because they're always like, you know, just really, really cool to watch and, they're mm -hmm. sh and they yeah. are what they are, short films. They tell really good stories in a very short time span. Now I need to shut up and let's watch this. <laughs> uh, just so you all know, by the way, this has 45,000 upvotes, 943 downvotes, which means the vast, vast yeah. majority of people who have watched it so far love this. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very excited. Let's check this out. That's a lot. Yeah. Oh, three pages. Here. In case you weren't impressed. <laughs> Dang. Just need to make sure the film is inspired from true events. This kid feels genuine. Yeah. Like he doesn't feel like a child actor, he feels like a genuine kid. Yeah. Cycle, 
आप ये सारी फरमाइशें अपने अबू से क्यों नहीं करते हाँ तो आप अब हमारी शिकायत अबू से करेंगे बसता हम दिलवाए और आपका सारा प्यार अबू को नहीं अम्मी ऐसा नहीं है अब तो आपका बस्ता कल आपके अबू ही लेकर आएंगे दिस इज ब्रिंग लाइक ऑल काइंड ऑफ मेमोरीज बैक बोथ ऑफ लाइक माई चाइल्ड हुड एंड ऑफ टेम्पोरली बींग डैड लाइक ऑल द थिंग्स दैट अनोइड मी All the things that annoyed me about me from when I was a kid, yeah. and the things that annoyed me about having a kid, you know. Yeah. I'm surprised she lets him get away with so much. Yeah. Being an Asian mom, I'm like, I don't think that would happen. I think I'm not Asian and I'm still like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, not really. I wouldn't hit him. But I mean, I guess this, <laughs> I, I guess it's not beyond the realm of possibilities that this kind of thing can happen anywhere in the world. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just surprised that she hasn't like slapped him already. Yeah. <laughs> Slap him around. बात नहीं करेंगे That's a great mm-hmm. नहीं। अपनी सालगिरह पे भी नहीं आप हमसे प्यार नहीं करते ऐसी बात नहीं है बेटा चलिए बाहर आ जाइए हम हम आपसे बात नहीं कर रहे We've all had those dramatic moments as kids though all the time. <laughs> She's super patient. Yeah. Are you all you two way in the bag? नजरे से बचा है अच्छा चलिए देर हो गई 
आपसे कभी देर नहीं होगी अम्मी कभी देर नहीं होगी मैं आपकी सारी बात मानूंगा अच्छा पक्का Until he wants something else. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Short lived. Five minutes later. <laughs> She's like, thank God. <laughs> Six more hours. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah. गुड मॉर्निंग फारूक आज बड़े खुश दिखाई दे रहे हैं आप हमारे सालगिरह है ना ओ सालगिरह की मुबारक हो नया बैग हमारी अम्मी ने
Jesus Christ. Yeah, wow. Uh, Literally one of my worst fears, and I'm not even a mom yet, and I already, I could. Um, yeah, no. I don't even know what to say. Because I knew something like that was going to happen. I knew something really messed up was coming. Yeah, I could they, feel they, it, they kept, yeah. They kept, like, playing, like, spending all this time, yeah. like, really, like, building up this relationship. Like their like, last moment together, like, like mm. holding each other, dancing around. Yeah. I'm like, because all I could think about while the short film was playing was like, how much I hate kids sometimes. <laughs> like, why? Why is it? He needs a good slap. He needs one good slap. Oh my God. God damn it. Because he was so spoiled. She's such a good mom. And yeah. it makes me like think about myself and like, I want to slap my, my mm -hmm. younger self for being such a brat. Yeah. Like the first thing I thought of wasn't actually when I was that age. I was actually thinking about when I was like, I forget how old I was, but I kept bugging my mom to get me a PlayStation 2. I may have mentioned this on the channel at some point, but like, I bugged her and bugged her. I'm like, please, I want a PlayStation 2. And at some point she pulled up money from the bank. And I remember the day she did it. And it was $300 at the time, which was way more money back yeah. then than it is yeah. now. Yeah. Well, I mean, not way more, but it's more. It's, the it value is. is certainly more. I'm just thinking about the fact that my mom did that for me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I felt bad. Mm -hmm. I felt bad afterwards. I'm like, I got... It was like you almost got like it, but it, you feel bad. Yeah, it was almost like yeah. a movie where you you've been craving this thing, and once you have it, you're like, "But do I feel good about it now?" Yeah, no. You know, and so I'm thinking about that, and and this kid being spoiled, and I was thinking about when I was raising a little girl for a few years, and yeah. I took her to Disneyland. At the end of the day, she had this sad look on her face. I'm like, "What is wrong?" She's like, "Well, we didn't go on these rides," oh. and I'm like, "Are you goddamn kidding me?" We went on all these other rides. <laughs> I was I was so livid, and so. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about while I'm watching this. And as it's going along, and there's like that slow motion stuff with the music that she's cooking, and I thought, okay, what's the point of this? Mm -hmm. Is the point that our mom spends so much time yeah. doing this stuff when we're not looking? Yeah. And it's like, no, no, the point is just how fragile, how quick life goes. Like, Can you change. You know, you just don't know. And as soon as they said it on the radio, I'm like, oh, God, like we've had all these school shootings in the past <sighs> like few years. I mean, ever since Columbine, right? And yeah. so. It just keeps happening and happening. It's always heartbreaking every time it happens. And it gets to the point where like we're desensitized. But when you hone in on like one individual. It makes it so real. Yeah, who's dealing with that. Yeah. It's just like you don't, the, the brilliant thing about this is you don't even see much. You're filling in the world for the mm -hmm. short film. Yeah. All the environment, what's going on, the, the violence. Mm -hmm. You don't even need to see it, like you get it. The one unrealistic thing, which I accept because it's a short film, is the cop would not have shown up five minutes later with the bag in his hand. No. Like that's unrealistic, but like you're compressing the time. Who knows how long it took before mm -hmm. between the terrorist attack happening and the radio, the radio, you know, like all that stuff, you know, it, who knows? I feel like it is wildly uh, unrealistic that the cop would be there that soon, but I accept it because it's a low budget short with a profound emotional impact. Like I said before, like this is like one of my biggest fears. I can't even imagine that right now. Like to like right now, I, if I had to pick one of my biggest fears, it is. It is just like losing a kid. I could never comprehend it. I had a really good friend back in elementary school who um, his brother actually died right in front of him and their whole family had to take care of that. And we all had to like go through that with him and it was rough. So, yep. Nope, don't want to lose a kid. That's like the worst thing that could, I think that could happen to you. Wow. Yeah. His brother died right in front of him. It was uh, it was a bus accident where his his lunchbox rolled underneath the bus, and he went underneath, and it was just him and his brother there, and the bus rolled off because they didn't know, and yeah, yeah, it was rough. It was a rough one, but our whole fourth grade class really we were really tight, like still to this day, like like I talked to some of them, so. <sighs> wow. mm -hmm. People go through a lot of stuff. People go through a lot of stuff that you would never even imagine. Yeah, so that uh, that did a number on me, and uh, we still got the rest of the day to look forward to. So, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us, and uh, do let us know. Go watch a good video. Yeah. Go watch it. Go watch another funny video underneath yeah. this or something. I mean, this this was really well done. I could have done with a shorter montage of them dancing around, but mm -hmm. overall, I I liked what it did. You don't know when someone could go is the idea. I appreciate that. I appreciate that message. So appreciate mm -hmm. what you have lost in front of you. Yeah. 
Kiss your loved ones. Kiss yeah. your mother. Kiss your children. Kiss your you know family. Make your sure pets. they all know. Make sure they all know that you love them. Yeah. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out Jules. She's on the social media. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Jules. Peace out.